<laughs> skyline in Oakland. He was okay in the pros. Yeah, championship here and there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the new host of the Oscars 2012. <laughs> and he dropped out. He's in. Give it up for Gary Payton. Beat my beat. Y'all got to beat my beat now. Beat, beat it up. Right, beat it up. Boom. There you go. Cut that shit. Now you fucking up my flow again, man. Word, shit. Making up words. Fuck. Hold on. We're going to give a dedication, man, to Heavy D. Rest in peace very much. My show is going to be basically about him today. Uh, every time we go to a break, we're going to have a song dedicated to him. That was my boy. Seen him at Jamie Foxx thing just recently. Uh, we had a big talk and... You know, it's just uh, a shock to uh, see him go so early in his life at 44 years old. Uh, we want to give a shout out to uh, Joe uh, Joe Frazier too, one of the greatest boxers ever. Yeah. You know, he was battling liver cancer, and uh, we want to give a shout out to him too. Yeah. All right, let's go, Jess. All right. Get the roll call going roll, on, baby. Roll. All right, Gary, we got a great show tonight, as always. But we got a full studio tonight. Of course, we have Guy Black, who just uh, introduced Gary Boo, Black. boo. Boo, nigga, yourself. <laughs> you know, boo, boo. Boo, boo your last shot. Boo, boo. <laughs> boo your last shot. That motherfucker. <laughs> boo, boo. Yeah, boo your last shot. <laughs> yeah. Great. Hello, hello. Rock, boo. Oh, run the we also have, from The Young and the Restless, Darius McCrary. Darius, how you doing? Hey, 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 man. I'm the greatest of all time, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm a bad dude. You keep talking, man. I'm going to start swinging, man. Except when I'm you start greatest. singing. I'm going to start singing, too, man. I can sing. And I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as we mentioned, full studio tonight, we got a couple special guests. First, we've got uh, former NBA player, former NCAA champion, Mateen Cleves from Michigan State is in the house. Yeah, straight from Flint, Michigan. We in the house, baby. The helicopter just landed on the building. I slid down the rope. I'm in the building. Came through the window. What an entrance, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> and, we also, and we also have another native of Flint, Michigan, 11-year uh, NFL veteran, Robert Smith is in the studio. Robert, yes, how you sir. doing? Yes, sir. What's going on? Flint Town in the building. My better half, and they sue me, so I'm going to let them, you know, just about say everything for me. It's going to be like that tonight. <laughs> we got some questions for you. And then, of course, we have the host, the man, Gary Payton. Yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. So listen to what we're going to do. First of all, thank you guys for coming in. Uh, you know, you know you all my dudes and everything. <laughs> I heard y'all was down here for a special cause. Uh, go on and tell everybody on this radio what's, what's going on. Well, uh, I talk because Robert don't like to talk, and I like to talk. So uh, we came in. We flew. Um, we coming down for the Carrier Classic. We going down to San Diego, Michigan State, and uh, North Carolina playing a big game on the Carrier Classic. Never been done before. It's a big thing. Obama coming in. You know, Michael Jordan, uh, Magic Johnson, everybody. Everybody who's everybody's gonna be in in the building. So we had to come down for that support Michigan State. But we want to come down here, shoot the LA, holla at you first. You yes, know, we sir. gotta holla at GP. Yes, sir. We're yes, sir. yes, sir. Come holla at you, but we're gonna do that and then just hang out, you know, and uh, uh we're gonna handle a little business with the music. Gotta meet with a couple guys, Nas, we're gonna get up with Nas and a few other people about my artist John Connor while we out here. Yeah, well. Okay, yeah, you told us about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You say you I got, got action one. with that. Yeah, you got, got action. action with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Y'all go hear about that young boy, yeah, John yeah, Connor, yeah. baby. But Sure, for sure. Okay, Jess, what we got going on? All right, we got a lot of great stories. But first, uh, Mateen, I want to ask you about that Michigan State North Carolina game. North Carolina, obviously number one in the nation. Uh, what do you expect to see in that game? Should be a great one. Well, it's going to be a great game. And uh, I, Coach Izzo, I don't know why he keep uh, scheduling all these tough teams. You know, North Carolina, <laughs> then we got Duke. Like That's him. rough. But I tell you, the good thing about that, win or lose, they gonna get something out of it. You know, they all, all, all coaches that want to see is them boys go out there and compete. When they at the end of the day, they're not gonna face no team in the Big Ten better than North Carolina. And, that, and no knock against nobody in the Big Ten, but nobody better than North Carolina. And then even down the line when they playing in the NCAA tournament, they not gonna face nobody that good. And, and if they do, you know, they already played on the big stage, so they'll be ready for it. And as far as the game, as you said, it's on an aircraft carrier. Yeah, yeah, I want to talk about that for a minute, Jesse. I don't want to cut you off. All these black people going to be on a boat playing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, hey, I'm just trying to find hey, out. Hey, 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 we're going to be on the boat, but I'm going to have my life jacket on right. because I That's still don't trust it. Magic yeah. Johnson on the boat? Yeah, we're going to uh, have life jacket. What if the ball get knocked out of bounds and falls over? Shit, who, if it's, that, dead, if it's that close to the damn water, it's it should have been on it's the, on the yeah, water. Exactly. But no, they're going to have a little something, something on No, it's on the water, man. But it's still going to have something. Obama going to be. It's going to be in the well, house, gonna, so you know it's going to be. He's going to come yeah. in on the house. I'm going to try to sit next to him. Yeah, yeah. 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 I might see me on TV next to him. Uh, <laughs> now, 
out with that Michigan State at it. <laughs> Magic, baby, we in LA. Magic from Michigan yeah, State, baby. Hey, yeah. Hey. Hey. Mateen, I was I was about to say, have you ever played in a game? Obviously, not on an aircraft carrier because it's the first one, but a game in a in a different setting like that. Did you ever do that uh, when you were playing? You cra- um, I remember I was playing. I was in training camp with Denver Nuggets, and we played the first game outside. We played in um, wow. um, we was in uh, Phoenix yeah. in a, at the tennis tennis court, and it was the first game outside. And a good idea, but it was terrible to play in. I tell you, I mean, <laughs> well, GP, you know how you sweat, you get the sweaty Ooh, hands, man. you couldn't get the sweaty wow. hands. Yeah. But the only thing saved us for the guys that grew up playing in the park, park we just right. took it back there so yeah. it was cool but yeah, yeah it, it, it was it was a sad day for us but it was definitely fun to be a part of though. yeah and gp what's the strangest place you ever played in organized game not that sandlot stuff you did in oakland just a question just answer the question now we played in the soccer stadium you know wow. what i'm saying uh, uh seattle did we played in the soccer stadium that was pretty dope man we was over uh what was we at in germany we played in germany in a soccer stadium man and that was kind of Funny man, because they had the the court in the middle of the soccer thing, and you know they got a hundred thousand people in that soccer right, stadium, man. Right. So they came and seen Detlef Shrimp, man, and he that motherfucker big, Whoa. <laughs> that's <laughs> huge over there, man. Wow. Uh, before um before um dirt. That yeah. motherfucker was the right. man. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, I so, like him. He married a black woman. Yeah, yeah. He, he still, yeah, yeah. And he got he got black kids too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. So he cool. Yeah. He um, Darius, where's the the strangest place you and Superhead played at? Let's see. Oh, that's go. fucked up. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, since you ask, you know I'm fearless. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess it would be on uh, the back of my car. <laughs> on the back of my car. 855-369-9898. Give us a call. It's the Gary Payton after the game show. All right, Gary, we're going we're gonna to get it going now, get into some topics. And the first one that's been all over Sports Center, mm-hmm. literally the only thing they've been covering today, is the, the Penn State scandal right mm-hmm. now, which is right. really taking over the sporting world. It's a pretty, pretty crazy case right now. Their former defensive coordinator, Jerry Sandusky's, Charged with forty counts of a sexual of a sexual of a sexual assault against young boys, um, and basically it's taking the whole Penn State program down. The athletic director, the president, Joe Paterno, even the head coach, is uh, just announced that he is going to retire after this year. Everyone is um, taking the fall for this, and this is a a pretty crazy story. What are your thoughts on what's been going on in Penn State? Well, that's crazy. I mean, if you can get a coach to you know forty kids. We need to, you know what we should do to him? We should take a broom and jump it up his ass. And, uh, uh, man, put him in, put him and burn his ass up in the middle of the thing. Because that's just crazy, man. I mean, wow. things like that. You got 40 kids and you didn't know nothing about it. And was it on the campuses and all that stuff? Some of it, it happened like in the locker room. Yeah, some of it. And, wow. and here, here's what a lot of people are really upset about. Obviously, the, the sexual counts themselves are disgusting and terrible. But in 2002, um, a grad student who's now an assistant coach, Walked in on um, Sandusky, basically raping a young boy. He went to Joe Paterno, told him about it, and Paterno went and told the athletic director and the president, but didn't tell the authorities, and they, in in turn, did not tell the authorities. And the only thing they did do was not allow kids on the campus anymore instead of actually getting rid of him. So he basically stayed on campus and with a job for six more years. and. Um, this is amazing. They think Twenty more assaults the may grad. may have taken place in those six years when he was still. So this is the when they was having the, like the, the kids' football youth camps uh, wow. in the summer, right? He yeah. he, he yeah, actually man. had a program that allowed underprivileged kids to come to his program, and that's how he kind of lured them in wow. that way. Well, that, well pedophiles do. I mean, well, allegedly, <clears throat> by the way. Allegedly. Yeah, well, so yeah, they, yeah. they they should take the fall. I think all of them yeah. should be fired. You know, it's going to hurt the Penn State uh, you know, program, and yeah. and this is what they do. You know what I'm saying? They under they got un, you know take stuff and cover it up like they do. Yeah. Where where Paterno being who he was, I think he should have reported his 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 um his coach. Yeah. He. He did it. He should have fired him. He should have did something. He should have did something about it. Now he's going to have to suffer for six years. You know, if he would have did it when he was supposed to do it, these 20 or 30 other more kids wouldn't have been molested probably there. Mm-hmm. They would have put this guy in jail. GP, you know and I say uh, the grad student should have knocked my man out now. Well, it's, and, it's some suspects, but guys, some suspects around. But everybody does something in college football. Mm-hmm. And it's just that if you can't, don't get caught. 
You know what I'm saying? That's it. This is crazy. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? With yeah. these kids, with yeah. little kids. Now think about it. I got a 13 year old, and I would, if I were to know that this man touched my 13 year old, what would you have done? Hmm. I told you I would have duct taped him. You know what I'm saying? You don't understand <laughs> me. You know what I'm saying? But kids now they get scorned from this. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. And all of a sudden yeah. it's all bad. You know? So I, I, I'm I'm with whatever they get. I hope he get a hundred million years, and then they put him under, and then let's put him on in there with all the rapists and all that, and let him get raped. Let right. him get raped. Yeah. Let him get raped. <clears throat> you know, well, that's going to happen. Life in prison uh, yeah. charges for for all these counts of sexual assault. Yeah, that's good. So he's gonna get forty of them. If, so, he, yeah. if he's found guilty, because <laughs> don't forget, you're still innocent until proven guilty. Well, I think a lot of these kids gonna come up. I think they're gonna come up. A lot of them gonna start getting brave. They're probably now a, lot, a couple of them that's older. We well, started with eight. Now it's like thirty five. Uh, so, so over a 24 hour period yeah so uh, he get what he got to get you know that's what i said and matina robert you both played in in the big 10 obviously where penn state's in the big 10 as well what are your thoughts on on this whole situation and how basically it's been going down well with me um you know i pretty much think you know like like gp said you know all of them should take the fall for this right because i mean you can look at it how you want saying that joe did his job by turning him into the ad but what if that was joe 13 year old son, right. your 15 year old son, you'll be ready to kill every motherfucker by the end of it. Yeah, right? it is, yeah, it is. From the motherfucker so, so that's them, seen it to the uh, coach to the AD yeah. to any motherfucker, the janitor, anybody sitting around, go get it. Campus security. Would it, would it been like, you would have been like the mail, you made it like when you go to the mail house, you know how they get mad at the mail people, they they're going in and kill everybody. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the lawsuits are going to be crazy. Oh, they oh are, man, they're going to kill Penn State. Oh, Penn State going to be broke. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you. I mean, you, you, had hate, program. you hate to see, <laughs> you hate yeah. to see Joe, Joe Legacy get tarnished like this, but, you know, like like they said, he didn't do the right thing at the end of the day. And it's going to be this one thing that's going to tarnish his, his, his yeah, legacy. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be all bad now. Yeah. He's done now. You know, it's it's, it's going to take a toll on him. Do you think he should it. do the, the entire season? I mean, I think he should games. quit now. Yeah, yeah because I know they're going to bowl games and everything, but if he quits now, it takes the the pressure off the, the athletes right now. Right. They got It's got to be crazy for them right now trying to prepare for a game. And That's then, a good point. And then he's going to go walk out there. With all them fans, they gonna boo him, and they go, they should boo him. You know what right. I'm saying? And, and they, he should just quit right now. I mean, it, it's, Robert, I said they gonna cheer for him. Yeah, Penn State it, last home game, they gonna cheer for him. They had for a, really? work out Robert, Robert, yeah. Robert is right. They had a whole group of students, probably thousands of them, outside his house yeah. with signs, "We yeah. love you." I was looking at Jack what? his garage was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but listen, clean your garage. But up. you gotta understand, this dude been there for what 30, 60, 40, 80 years? Yeah. How many? Sixty one years. Come on now. You know, you gotta think about that too and then he make one mistake they gonna forgive him for that yeah. you know what i'm saying they should you know wow. i don't think so but they should they should it's they more shouldn't. A, it's you know a moral I mean? thing not, yeah, a, not yeah, a legal yeah. thing so. yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, according to just to sources who are close to the team he when he told the team he was retiring he told them you know he's crying and the team gave him a standing ovation so his players love him and this just makes it you know even a more difficult situation that he was such a respected and loved coach and now as you said his legacy could be really dragged through the mud with this whole uh, whole situation it's pretty crazy okay all right we go to the next one mm. all right Gary, we're going to move on now to the the nba lockout as always we have oh. an update every <laughs> single week and uh, this week is no different um, today was supposed to be a deadline uh, at uh, 5 p.m eastern, eastern? time yeah. there's supposed to be the deadline that the owners would lower their offer if the players didn't accept the players did not accept but the two sides decided to keep talking so currently um, they're still talking right now. They started their meeting at 1 p.m. Eastern, so they've been ta they've been talking for all day, um, and they're supposedly close to a deal again. But who knows? We've seen that we've said this every single week. It could be close, but uh, one little thing could really throw these negotiations off track. Just, they, just one little thing, like, dude, do I get to Bentley if I score 30 points? <laughs> 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 it's little things that stopping this deal from happening. <laughs> How many groupies can we bring to the locker room? <laughs> <laughs> like that there? There's some stuff like that going on. <laughs> so how many guys wanted to decertify? Um, there was a group of about 50 players, and mm -hmm. they were trying to to get other players on board with them because officially two decertifiers are filed for decertification. You've got to have 150, and to then to, to get go through with it, you need at least, I believe, 75% of the players. So that's a, 450 players. they got to get you know 250 players or so mm -hmm. to, to get behind this. So... Right now, while they're still negotiating, they're not going to decertify. But if these talks go awry, then that might be the the route that the players decide to go. So where are we at now with with the season? Uh, have they decided to um, to cancel some more or what? Right now, the last cancellation was the end of November. So 
Um, as of now, the games first games would be if a deal was made beginning of December. No games have been canceled in December yet, but um, it's reported that if these negotiations fail, they will likely cancel games throughout December past Christmas. So mm. likely till the next the new year. Man, they messing up your players' retirement yeah, fund. Yeah, they messing up the retirement yeah. fund. And if they not playing no games, we can't talk about no can't games. Talk about no but games. But one thing I do respect, GP, and 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 everybody, I I respect that the players are staying together. Yeah. And and one thing about it, you know, we want to talk about the games, we want to see them play. But then again, your son might play in the NBA right. one time. My right. son might play one, you know, at, at some point. And you don't want to just accept nothing. And then at the end of the day, down the road, it, it comes like and bite you in the butt. So I just hope the players stay together, whatever they do they got to stay unified they got to stay together and stay strong and you know hopefully it just work out for the best for them that's what i say i mean mm-hmm. we got to stay together yeah. you know that's what we didn't do in 88 and 98 and it, and, it, and it bit us a little yeah. bit in 98 99 you know yeah. then that's why we back to this this level right now so i think these guys have made a statement to these owners that we're going to stay together and now that now it's hurting the owners a little bit that's what the owners want them to, to decertify mm-hmm. so they can bring, bring them apart so yeah. the, 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 i'm just saying with the, with all the players they're doing really well you know what i'm saying yeah. and i yeah. think it should be over in about two weeks if they keep doing what they're doing it's going to be cool so we, I think they're, they're doing a great job of what they should be and, doing. And have you seen the pictures of all the players standing behind Derek Fisher? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say something. It's not, it might not sound right. Yeah, it ain't going to sound they right. They need a white guy in there. Oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. There's no white players being re- you remember? You remember how Jeff Saturday yeah, came yeah, yeah. got the NFL thing going? Yeah, yeah. All the black players were trying to negotiate. Hey, David Stern is not going to negotiate with all them niggas. <laughs> but he got to understand his his lead is all all all, all you gotta niggas. Understand that, but they, yeah, you got to find a shit. white dude somewhere. But go get white chocolate. Like somebody. seventy eighty percent niggas. You man. know, go get Birdman. Somebody stand out. Somebody. Now. Yeah. Birdman yeah. ain't really his color. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna even lie to you. He ain't yeah, really he, his color. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's let's take one call before we go uh, to break. Let's go to your boy, Low Life in Alabama. Give it up for Low Life. <laughs> you said Low Life? Low <laughs> Leasy. What's happening, man? Hey, shit like this here, man, this Penn State shit, make me wish I was still in the pen. You know what I'm saying? So, so when this motherfucker up here come down the way, we'll be in his ass over a washing machine and break off a motherfucking mop stick and break that bitch off in his ass. You know what I'm saying? I got two boys, you know what I'm saying, that they play little, you know, talk ball and all that, that shit. I couldn't imagine a motherfucker take him on a trip, you know what I'm saying? I find out that he done fucked him in the shower, you know what I'm saying? But I kill that, that motherfucker and everybody look like him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, low light. Low light say what you want to say, baby. <laughs> that's what we talking about. Woo! You know, low life keep it real. That's what that's what he do, man. But this is what people. How you stutter only when you curse? That's, you, I'm trying to figure boy, it out. you something else, man. Right, thank you. You gonna get low life to come out here and get us, man? You stutter, <laughs> you stutter only on the curse word. Damn. But this is what we t- we're trying to tell you guys. People feel that way about yeah. their kids. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Their kids is is, yeah. is, is important yeah. to them, man. This is they they family. And think about all the people, all the parents that's gonna find out this man has touched their their kids yeah. and might scorn them for the rest of their life. They're gonna think about this man doing that to them and re- growing up like that. So you know, everybody out there, man, I we got your we we understand how your your feelings are about that and stuff and you know we this is just what happens. He's going to get what he's, he's it's coming to him. You know what I'm right. saying? If he got caught. He's going to get what is coming to him. And, you know, we, that's all we can say. You know, we support everybody out there that's mad because we it's like kids getting taken, you know, taken away from us yeah. all the time. We're going to come back. We can yeah. take a break right now. For this sure. is Heavy D, your boy Heavy D. There it is. Rest in peace, Heavy Rest D. Rest in peace, Heavy uh, D. 855-369-9898. It's the Gary Payton Show after the game. Foxhole. Okay, man. Cut it on my homeboy, Heavy D. We got a big announcement that just came through. Uh, come on, come on, Jess. Let me know what's going on. Yeah, breaking news here into the studio. We got we were talking about Joe Paterno that he had retired and he basically wanted to finish out the season. He will not get to do that. He has been officially fired by the board of trustees <laughs> at Penn State. So he's done. Uh, wow. After I believe thirty six years at, as head coach, you mentioned the sixty one years total at the university. Right. It's a long time, but he's officially done, and mm-hmm. obviously not the way he would want to go out. But um, he's done at Penn State. Well, that's you know that's just that's just just do you know that's what it is and you know like I said everybody needs to take the downfall even if he knew something about it to let six years go by 
went and didn't have this man still get these football camps and do the things that he did continuously after six years, after he knew that, then they didn't do anything about it. I think he deserves this. Yeah, I, put, I bet you they find out more than we know right now. They probably said, they're going to do an investigation. Go they probably going to do an investigation. So you know that's 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 just great news. Penn State now has to move forward. They are probably going to have a lot of lawsuits coming up against them. Mm. You know, all these kids are going to come up, and you know they're going to be in a big, a big big problem. You know. Yeah, and also president of the school Graham Spanier is uh is out at Penn State as well, so he's gone. Both of them, him and Paterno, wow. are both wow. gone. Is Penn uh, State a Catholic school? No. I don't think so. Nah, I don't no, think no, so. No. I don't think so. Paterno say this bigger than Nino Brown. <laughs> <laughs> everybody go. Everybody, it's bigger than Nino, baby. Everybody go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. For real. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's. What, what we got now? All right, we're gonna stick with college football, but the actual games themselves now, and we'll we'll talk about the matchup last weekend. It was number one versus number two, LSU and Alabama. Uh, at Alabama, Woo! and it was LSU yep. coming out on top, nine to six. I blew after one. Alabama <laughs> missed four field goals during the game, they were two of six. Right. And the final score was nine to six, so no touchdowns, all field goals in this game. And LSU comes out with a win. Mm. Now, that's a great football game. I mean, Ooh. when you play defense like Ooh. that and you only score nine and six points Man. and the number one and two, that's what you want to see. Man. That's what you want to see in basketball. Yeah, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Yeah. When we're going down straight to the uh, it's 10 seconds left, yeah. it's 99, 99, or 99, 98, and somebody hit a jumper yeah. with no time on the Michael clock. Michael Jordan, who are you? Why are you always <laughs> hating, man? That's a damn man. hater. Man. Fucking hater, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, I'm just going back. I'm having flashbacks. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You ain't had no flashback like that. <laughs> you know what Clyde calls it. Right, Everything just yeah. changed. Whatever. <laughs> hey, we gonna get, hey, what's up? Talk to us about the football game. How y'all like it? Man, Ronda, did you, I, lo- I mean, I loved I mean, it was a great game. I mean, defense wins games. You know, I mean, it it, it was I, I was I was it was it was really riveting and and uh, down you didn't to the see last the game, did you? Didn't I see did. It. I watched yeah. it. With <laughs> I, he watched I, it with me. I watched it with GP. He watched it with me. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you what, we we actually had some Alabama Alabama fans that were talking a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and and you know, oh, we, were sitting, we were sitting there watching the game, and it was riveting because it was one of those games where you just had to just be quiet, just let the game just just don't you know, play out. But check this out. Look who look who was talking shit. Yeah, I did say that, that the tie was winning. At home. We was in Seattle. Yeah. And uh, I had a, a bowling uh, event yeah. just just recently, and Sean Kemp was talking oh, gang of shit. Oh. <laughs> man, Did he, he was eighteen on, kids with him. Uh, damn man, you still killing my partner, man. Oh, he got a lot of kids. He got he got nine. He's Octa <laughs> Dad. He got nine. <laughs> See, he got nine. <laughs> See, guy, that's why I wasn't trying to talk too much. Cause I wasn't trying to put nobody out there like you do. You know what I'm saying? I was, tra- I was trying to use my words and choose my words saying, wisely. Yeah, we we <laughs> was having big, fun. yeah, we we was having big fun. He was on Alabama, and um, all of us was LSU. So we had we had a good time. We was at Lucky Stripe at the bar. Oh, Everybody yeah. was getting hammered. Yeah. yeah, we was getting hammered like a bowling. Bowl, so we yeah. was bowling. It was kind of cool. Man. It was so we many people nice that we couldn't really we couldn't even really get our bowl like really bowl yeah. on. It was like we were just laying out. It was crazy. We man. was right next to Mr. Universe. You right. know what I'm saying? That man was big as. Big, man, swole up, man. That motherfucker had his heart like this. Like, nigga, you going to shake my hand or you going to whack me to death? You know what I'm saying? They need to get a visual of that. that you look like a tree trunk. God damn. I was like, limbs. Wow. That nigga neck about this size, man. My, my whole body. What's up, Clay? What you, what you think? Nah, I'm telling you, the game was, you know, I'm a football, big, big time football guy. I was a highly recruited uh, football player coming out of uh, high school, but. I got to argue with this guy on Twitter because he going to tell me, he, he said it wasn't a good game because it wasn't a lot of scoring. I said, well, you don't understand football. Right. Chump. I call it Chump. You know what I mean? <laughs> Twitter beef. We going back and forth. <laughs> he was in Cali. Matter of fact, I might. If you out there, I'm coming to get you. I'm out here in Cali. <laughs> no, no, think I don't know where you at. Yeah, but we got the beef on Twitter. But, it was, you know, it, it was a great game. Two yeah. two great high-profile programs going at it. And I think that's why they should have a playoff in college football. Yeah. When yes. you look at that. Yes. Yes. What's your yes. Twitter address, by the way? My team, Cleves. My team, underscore Cleves. Holla yeah. at me, man. Yeah, we're going to yeah. argue yeah. together. Oh, we do? Yeah, we can do all that. I'm with all that. Yeah. And I come out to Cali and yeah. get you, baby. Oh, <laughs> all right, that's a threat. All right. What's the- I mean, as far as me, you know, I played for Nick Saban. So, you know, it's, it's yeah. still a part of me that I'm, I'm a root for, you know, Bama, as long as he was there. But yeah. I think overall, that, that game was better than most of the Monday night games they've been playing in the NFL. NFL. Uh, yeah, they should have that been. game on Monday yes. night. 
it was some hard hitting going hard. out there. Them boys was playing. Yeah. You know, I think they need to start looking into that a little more, letting some of them boys get some of that prime time TV time out they there. Should, they should idea. do that. Yeah. I think college, you know what? College is better than pros anyway because exactly. we trying to be hungry to exactly. get there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't look at too many pro games of basketball or football. I look at the college wow. so they can get down. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, I like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got an underslash? Oh, yeah. I, my, my Twitter name is at Robert Smith. Period. That's me. R O B A I R E S T H. That's me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, won't, he won't talk back to you though. He don't What's talk back to me. Yeah, I talk. I talk a little bit on that. Yeah. Yeah. You man, you don't have to do it all the time. You ain't got to wake up talking about man. I'm about to go cook me an egg. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that. I ain't doing all that shit. <laughs> nigga, oh, I'm gonna be in Safeway today, nigga. On road nine. Nah. <laughs> nigga, come behind me. Pow. Shoot, nigga. nigga. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Man. Yeah. No, man, don't do all yeah, that. You, shit. You're exactly, doing too man. much, right? Doing too much. Man. People tell you that they're going to pick their kids up from school, give you the man. name of the school and everything. <laughs> man, and nigga sitting right there, man. Okay. They, they, they go right there. Okay. Let's get them. I'm about to cast yeah, my be check. Careful with that Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> be careful, man. Ronda Ray, what you think? Uh, well, it was an exciting game. I was in and out the game. I was a little uh, under the weather over the weekend, but it was an exciting game. And um, I don't know too much about football, but it, it was an exciting game. It was definitely an exciting game. Um, I noticed that there was a lot of defense definitely yes, going on. It was. it was a matchup to me uh, like what I watched on Sunday with the Steelers and the Ravens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, that, the, was, the that was a good one. Uh, yeah, was kind was of like the same uh, same there. Okay. Good. Why, yeah. do, why do people feel like uh, like games have to be high scoring for, the, for it to be an exciting game? I mean, what is, what is that fallacy? I mean, what is that? Mm. I mean, I was, that's, it, that's because it's just like now. That's why People think basketball when they put the, they start doing all them zones and they start taking everything out of hoop. Yeah. They wanted the game to get fast because that's what kids like. Kids right. are doing that and one all that stuff. They want to score, mm -hmm. dunk, score, yeah. dunk because it's fast like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what people will think that bad sports is about now. It ain't about lockdown, grind, and see what's handing and see how struggle get, people can struggle to get the, the score when points. It was real when, yeah. when it, it get real. Yeah. See that's yeah. that's what people want to see because we old school people you know what i'm saying right. so this era has changed to make it a fast-paced game wow. that's why a lot of people don't like baseball because baseball slow yeah, mm. you know what i'm saying yeah. Yeah, that's it it's slow yep. and then you can go through seven innings and you'll sit there right. and they'll be there and this <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying see basketball is fast yeah, right. football is fast yeah, hitting right. you know what i'm saying and yeah. then you you got soccer that's why they starting like soccer that's yeah. going up and down it yeah. ain't stopping moving, you know right. ice hockey Right. They, they doing that You yeah. know what I'm saying So that's what people like And that's what little kids Is about now You know yeah. what I'm saying And they, they don't really know Nothing about sports Right They ain't nothing about, know nothing about Like when Clean, uh, Clean said It ain't oh, He was beefing Right I bet you that dude Don't even know a stat About that game <laughs> Right 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 I bet he don't even know Who ran what <laughs> Who is the quarterback who is a best player? He just looking at a football game and, and say, man, it ain't no scoring. Yeah. It ain't no hit. Yeah, yeah man, go on with all that, man. You don't know nothing about no, guy, no football. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go on with that, man. What's up, Jess? Yeah, Gary, you're absolutely right because I've seen writers talk about, you know, basketball in the 90s. Well, like, they damn sure don't know no like, shit about nothing. Like they the, can always fuck around and, and criticize your ass, but yeah. they probably ain't played a damn sport they like. You yeah, know that's what I'm right, saying? Bob Costa. No, definitely. Shit. Oh. And there, there's series like the Knicks and Heat, and I grew up watching those, and they talked about that was some of the ugliest basketball. That was the basketball I loved the most. Oh, yeah. 76, oh, 77 yeah. grinded out games. Real, that, man. That's only had 32 points at halftime. Yeah. Shit, that's <laughs> what I like. Right. You know what I'm saying? I like that type of shit, man. You did really a nigga up, slapping that shit. Blah! Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need. Yeah. We need yeah. something like that. Yeah. 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 But, Gary, going back to, to college football, um, you mentioned that you last week that you thought that there would be a rematch for the championship between LSU and Alabama. Yep. And obviously, it was a great game, as we've all discussed. But would you want to see a rematch? Because I know personally, as, as great a game as it was, I would rather see another team, especially if they're undefeated, get a shot at LSU like Oklahoma State or Stanford. If they run the table, I feel like they deserve a shot over Alabama, who lost the game and kind of had their shot already. Okay, well, this week is going to be tough for Stanford. I don't know if they're going to beat uh, Oregon. Uh, Oregon. So we don't know. So what if it's all only teams undefeated at LSU? Then what happens then? What if it's all one one losses? Then you have to go by yeah. the, the, the strength of the, of the thing. By that time, I think Alabama would already done did a lot of stuff to um, to um, change their game of, of playing against them. Then it'll be at a neutral field. 
no home field advantage. Everybody comes in, and I don't think it'll be a 9-6 game again. Yeah. I think it'll be more scoring, and everybody will be already. That's just like doing a do video. video. That's why it's always hard to go into a, a seven-game series and you don't play these teams twice, and this because they beat you. Now you got to play them seven times, mm, right. and then you got a chance to go home every night, good video together, see how to stop somebody. I'm gonna give you an example, just like what Derrick Rose did, and what happened to him in Miami. You know, everybody Miami's figured him out. Put a bigger guy on him, and LeBron James shut him down, yeah. and their whole team is nothing. So you have to understand that it's gonna be a little different if you go play them. Four months, two months from now. You know what I'm saying? And I think it'll be a, a great football game still. And you would still want to see that in the national championship. Oh, right. I would want to see a three nothing uh, in the championship. <laughs> and, uh, and they are at the three yard line with two seconds to go. And if they can score a touchdown, they win it. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would want to see that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Got a couple of callers. 855-369-9898 on the Gary Payton after the game show. Let's go to Dr. Ref from Oklahoma. Dr. Ref, you're on the Gary Payton Show. What's up? What's up? Gary Payton, my name is Marco. I'm a college student at the University of Oklahoma, uh, working on my PhD. I live in Tulsa. I, uh, I'm a basketball referee, uh, working on my way to get to the NBA. Uh, anyway, you're giving, giving me, you're giving me, you giving me your whole bio. Your resume. Right <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you know, I, hey, Gary Payton, real quick, every, every Wednesday, I, I go to Oklahoma, I go to Norman, and I, and I come to class, and every time, 9 o'clock, I'm on my way back to Tulsa, to home. And to my wife and kid anyway. So I want to say, hey, I love you, man. I, I grew up, I'm an 80s baby, but I grew up all in the 90s in your area. Hey, uh, <laughs> anyway, hey, uh, hey, I forgot my point. He, he put me on anyway. Uh, hey, keep doing your thing, brother, man. I, uh, I appreciate it. Hey, you the good man, man. Bye. Thank you. Week, man. All right. All right, let's go to Seattle. James in Seattle All on right, the Gary Payne. Okay, you from my get, way. Get ready yeah. for this. Yo, yeah. what's up, GP? What up, y'all? What's happening with you? Hey, man, I'm just calling about this show potato thing, man. What, what's kind of making disturbing me with this whole shit is, is that this dude, you know what this motherfucker was doing when you was a coach and he was your defensive coordinator. When you seen this dude and you seen him with a kid because he kind of started getting a like you, and you knew what that motherfucker was doing, and you turned a blind eye, they need to fire that motherfucker immediately. Don't yeah, they, they fired him already. He just got fired just recently. If you didn't hear, oh, okay. he, just got, he just got fired. He's not going to be there anymore. And we agree with you uh, 100%, you know. But, you know, he's an old school dude. And when you have coaches and, and, and they're together like that, they're going to stick together. He's going to, he's an old school and he's going to try to protect him, but they got caught. So now it's over. Their, their era is gone and he's going to, he's going to mess up his era. So it's over now. He, he won't be there anymore. Mm. Okay, good, because at old school and high, man, I'm a father and a daddy. I don't give a fuck who you are. Be my and a daddy. Wow. <laughs> Shit, I ain't mad at you, man. We said no, he's a father thing. to one kid, a daddy to somebody else. <laughs> and that means he give out whoopers. If he's a father and a daddy, he whooping some butt around that. Yeah, he whoops fast. Well, well, the, the reason why you say that, I say that is because when you're a father, anybody can be a father, but it takes a real man to be a daddy. That's why. There I it is. There it is. I appreciate you know I mean? the call. Yeah, I appreciate the call. Thank you very much, James. Let's go to. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> he calling in again. Who is it? What's up? Clyde! Uh, Clyde. Give it up for Clyde from Give Missouri. Clyde. What's up, Clyde? Uh, Clyde crazy. <laughs> What's up, Clyde? Hey, hey how are y'all doing tonight? We hey, doing good. Clyde. Yeah, it's got a live show there. There's a bunch, a bunch of colored kids up there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got a bunch of colored kids. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Hey, look at here. Uh, that guy at uh, Sandusky that uh, was messing around with them 12-year-old, them kids. Mm -hmm. uh, I told my son, you should have had your son, my grandson, he should have had somebody fool around with you. You can get money like that. <laughs> oh shit! He's scared. <laughs> hey Clyde, you crazy man? Hey Lewis, you Clyde, 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 you crazy man? Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Clyde, all money ain't good money, Clyde. <laughs> Clyde, 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 you drive a truck? <laughs> we drive a truck? No, Clyde, old. Clyde, we I'm need to go. We're gonna pray for you, Clyde. I lost my license a few years ago. I'm getting old. 
Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm getting incompetent. You know, I can't drive and stuff like that. My dick don't get hot no more. <laughs> You know, they had pills for that, Clyde. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've taken them damn things before. I tell you what, you get your dick in but I can't hear with shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, my dick be harder than Johnny in the river, but I don't know, I don't know what the fuck he's telling you, though. My dick is too much information, information Clyde. <laughs> Clyde, I don't think we've ever asked you this. Way how too much how old are you? What's your age? I'm 75. All right, give it up for Clyde. Yeah, give it up for Clyde. Yeah. Hey, Clyde. Hey. Yes. What's going on with them, man? They go get their thing and sound like they were going to get work done, and then now they don't want to work it out now. Well, I'm getting sick of it. When the college basketball start? <laughs> <laughs> it started in, in San Diego. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can watch a big game uh, to, uh, uh, Friday, Friday on ESPN, Michigan State, North Carolina, baby. That's going to be a good one for you. Yeah, yeah watch that. I gotta see something else. I think about even going to the damn junior high school to see some basketball. <laughs> <laughs> no, Clyde, you stay away from the junior high school. And for your for your seventy sixth birthday, we gonna get you a Viagra pill and a hooker. <laughs> I was just teasing her. I don't mess around with no damn kid. I think that Sandusky should have in a nut chop though. <laughs> that All right, absolutely Cl- sick with it, man. She can her on it and every I'm gonna call in every week and fuck okay. with you. Yeah, that's what you need to do. You know, I, I'm always welcome you in. Yeah, thanks for calling. Show. Yeah, yeah, brother, good show you got going. Thank you. All right, yeah, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna take a quick break right now. We're gonna come back and delve into some more sports for sure. We out of here, man, on the Gary Payton show uh, after the game. Mm-hmm. Foxhole ninety eight ninety eight. Yeah, Be right back. All right, cut it. Man, we gonna miss Heavy D, man. Yeah. That's, that was our uh, rest man. in peace, Heavy D. Man. We are definitely gonna miss. Hey, I got an announcement, man. Uh, I'm um, teamed up with uh, this thing called the Dugout. Oh, him. No, man. Come oh, man. Shut come your on. mouth, keep it, man. Keep it mo- what? Shut up. What the shit? F- Watch your mouth. Damn, hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Can I gotta make my that. announcement. Hey, man. Going to Penn you State really messed him up, huh? The old man got you. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, check this out. I done teamed up with this with this group called Dugout. It's a memorabilia store. Um, I got a signing out here in um, um, Orange County, November the 19th. It's from 11 to 1. It's at 1238 South Beach um, Boulevard, Suite J, Anaheim, California. Their number is 714-527-6319. I'll be there on November the 19th signing everything, autographs, all kind of stuff. It's going to be a nice event out in um, Orange County. Come on out, you know, if y'all want to. See what's going on. Get that number again is 714 uh 5276319. We're going to have a big time, man. I'm going to sign everything. Y'all bring it on out there. I ain't signing too much, but you all you bring it. <laughs> you know yeah, I'm sign everything. I ain't going to sign everything now in 2 hours, man. Y'all going to have to pay me for that, man. You know what I'm saying? So no, just come on out. But the dugout is is a, it's a nice memorabilia uh, store. It's really it's really nice. It got some nice stuff out there. Come on out and give your support to me, man. It's going to be real fun out there. Mhm. Uh Ronda Ray, yeah. what happened? Um I had a, a event uh for HIV. Uh um my wife did. She had a, she was um she did something. Her her um, cousin got, died on nine eleven. Okay. Uh, she her foundation is for HIV right now. Okay. And uh we went out there and we raised a lot of money, had a lot of superstars out there. And what was the, oh. the, the big thing with with magic this this Monday? Yeah, this Monday, November seventh, marked the twentieth year anniversary of Magic announcing that he had HIV. Right. So basically he's just trying to spread awareness to say that you can definitely live with HIV. He's encouraging you to go get tested. Um, He's saying that when he announced HIV, they only had one drug out. Now they have 30 drugs out Mm -hmm. that, um, you know, not cures it, but helps you live longer. 
So there's no excuse for you to not go get tested. And he's done a great job. When he came out with it, everybody really didn't know how important this 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 disease was. It was killing a lot of people. As yeah. soon as he announced it and made it real with each other and made it come out, people start realizing that somebody with his caliber or his status can get this 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 disease. Yeah. You you've seen um uh the um, the actor what's his name from NWA um Easy E Easy E died from it because yeah. he didn't get any help. Yeah. You know, and it went to full blown AIDS. So you guys, man, you know. Know, this is a great thing that Magic has done, and I, I and I've heard that Magic does not have it anymore. It's not in his system anymore. Uh, but you know, it, 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 that's because of the drugs that came out nowadays. You know, right. so uh, everybody just get tested, man. First of all, strap up. You know strap what I'm saying? Up, you know, up. if you're not, if you don't have that significant one, one, don't go and hit another girl, and then hit another mm. girl, and hit mm. another girl, mm. and all that stuff. And we know it's just not from only sex. Mm. It's, it's it's mostly from the needles that people will be doing drugs with right. you know um, it's from you know um, you know the, the intersection you know the sex things you know uh, you know it's males with males whatever mm -hmm. that, that's your preference we don't have no problems with that you know guys just we just use safe sex you know it, it's something that we have to do because it's man. yeah it's magnum like man. Magnum <laughs> man. <laughs> some are not magnum what I understand <laughs> <laughs> but now where we're going to go down the line now and I want you guys to just tell us about everything that's happening you know like I uh, did my thing about you know my uh, dugout stuff uh, Darius and McKee, we want you guys to understand that you know you, you're on here and I'm, I'm glad to have you on here and it's a pleasure but we want to know these fans want to know what you guys are doing so let's see what let's hear what you're doing well um, there's a movie uh, that's uh, called Church uh, that was on BET it'll be running um, a movie I just produced and starred in um, wow yeah man um uh, then there's a film called The Perfect Gift starring Ruben Stutter, Golden Brooks, myself, um, uh, Clifton Powell that was just released on DVD. So get that. It's a Christmas, uh, Christmas, uh, uh, film. And, um, my Twitter is at Darius McCrary, my name. And just, uh, shout at me. I shout back, you know, uh, stay in the studio working on music. Got some stuff coming out next year. Yeah. Um, my brother Donnie Wonderful, you know, uh, so holla. Holla Black, we here. Holla yeah. Black. Holla Black. <laughs> Stole my thing. Yeah, I've been Yo. saying that for years. Well, uh, well myself, you know, I, I um, do a lot of work in the community in Flint, Boys and Girls Club, do a lot of stuff with the kids. So if, if, whenever in any community, in any city you're in, you can give back to the Boys and Girls Club or community efforts, do that. But me, you know, I do a sports show on the bottom blind, uh, bottom line sports show is on um, www.blindsportshow.com. It's with Penny Hardaway, Charles Oakley, which is a big thing for me because I looked up to Penny and Charles. Just as look, I looked up to GP, so it's, it's a big deal for me. Other than that, you can follow me on Twitter at my team Cleese at underscore. I mean at my team Cleese underscore. Um, you can find me on Facebook, all that good stuff. But follow my artist, John Connor Music. You can follow him on Twitter at John Connor Music. I'm telling you, he gonna blow up. You hear? You heard it here first. Y'all gonna see me on the war shows, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yep, this is Robert Smith. Um, I've just been doing a little bit of uh, broadcasting in the Houston, Michigan area. You know, right now I'm trying to pick a nick and decide if I want to continue to play or you know. Um, or I want to go ahead and finish school if I can get into culture. You know, it's something I always wanted to do, oh, something hey. I'm good in that. So, you know, I got a couple more credits I got to knock out. So, you know, right now I'm trying to decide and you see if that's what I'm going to do. No, nah, I'm straight. <laughs> Spartans, baby. You miss Spartans, State Spartans, baby. I know, I know. Hey, man. I, I, yeah, but it's yeah. all, I mean, at the end of the day, with, you know, with all that, you know, um, you know, just to end it on that paternal, you know, I hate to see a man legacy ruined like that, but at the same time, Shit, you got to do what's right at the end of the day. You know, so, you know, that's it. You can follow me on Twitter at Robert Smith. Uh, get at me, holler at me, say whatever. I talk back, I talk shit, I do it all. So yeah. holler at me. And, and, GP, and, and I hope he hurry up and go back to playing because I'm scared he, like, he looking to tackle me. <laughs> so I hope he go back and tackle the NFL but, quarterback. But you kids out there, you hear what Robert said. He, he, go back to school, man. If you got an opportunity to yeah. do that, go back well, to school. Well, if he can get his degree and do that and then get into that broadcasting, it's really mm -hmm. great to do that. Uh, I love to hear you say that. That's what these kids out here need to do. This is what we need to do. Thank you guys, man, for being on my show, 
man. I love y'all to death, man. Oh, always good. Thank you, know, you for you, having man. us. It's always Shout good. Shout out to Suzanne Somerville. Yeah, yeah Suzanne that. Somerville. She's she always, always bring in people for me, do everything that she can for me all the time. Love her to death. Hey, but we out of here, man. Catch us next week on the, on the Gary Payton Show after the game, man. We out of here, man. And again, rest in peace, Heavy D rest and Joe peace, Frazier, have. man. And that's it. Rest in peace, Joe Paterno, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 <laughs>